You're looking at 34-year-old Datro Fofana, who currently plays for Villarreal 15 years into a simulation on Football Manager 2023. He's rounded out into a really, really good player, which we'll look at his attributes in more detail in a second. It's his career stats that I'm interested in. Obviously, he starts the game out at Molde, but moves to Chelsea at the end of his contract in the first season, goes to England. He's struggles a little bit in England in this simulation. Never really gets a footing in the Chelsea side besides that one season where he played 32 games. But his average rating is always below a seven. Uh, then a thirty-five pound, a million pound move to Villarreal is where he really comes into his own. And in Spain, he puts in performances every single season. This one here, the 28-29 season. Remember that year? 7.71. Uh, and then across the board, he's always around about 7.4, 7.5 as the average rating. Knocking in plenty of goals as well. 23 in one season there. It's that 7.71 rating that really drags up his career average. He's done really well on that season. And this is how he looks here. We'll have a look at his biography. See what he's won on a personal level and at a club level. Before comparing him against what he looked like at the beginning of the game. Obviously, right, he starts out in Ivory Coast. We know that much. He's moved to Norway by the time the game starts. Doesn't win anything apart from the cup in Norway. Uh, but when he's joined Chelsea, doesn't really do much there either. They've never won anything. But it's the Villarreal season here. The 27-28, not his best season. The season before his best season. It's where Villarreal win the La Liga title. So he's part of the integ an integral part of that Villarreal side, who also finished second in the league as well. Uh, won a Copa del Rey as well. Uh, it's, it, that's his main trophy, though, that Villarreal league title in 2028. Uh, but if we look at his Ballon d'Or attempts here, he's, he's not won one, but he has finished runner-up. And I'm going to suggest it probably the 28-29 season, if I can find it. Or was it? In fact, no, it wasn't. It was the 32-33, so it's not even his best season where he came runner-up. So he's done really well um, to find his place in Spain. Obviously, he didn't work out in England for him. He didn't win anything with Chelsea, but joined Villarreal in 2027 for £35 million and performed really, really magical things, essentially. Dragged them, or helped drag them, to a league title in his first campaign there. Um, but this is how he looks now. Let's jump back to the beginning of the game to look how he looks uh, when he's still at Molde in Norway. Uh, you can see that basically at eight, 19 years of age, he's essentially a bit of a speed merchant. Merchant. That's all he's got, really. Everything else is still there to develop. He's ambitious, though, and that development has definitely come through. You can see here he's got his transfer arranged to Chelsea already. Um, but comparing him there against what he is 15 years into the future, his speed has dropped down a little bit compared to the start of the game. Obviously, he's got... 15 years older that's going to happen but everything else has really rounded out he's become a much more attacking threat his technical skills are really improved as well and if we go back to the present day you can really see that on the polygon comparison as we flip between the two you can tell he's really rounded out into a much better player uh, and if you've signed him like i did on fm22 for my blackburn side let me know in the comments down below tell me how he's developed whether he's become an integral part of your team and whether you've enjoyed playing with Datro Fafana, whether he's developed better than this and he's won more things. Uh, let us know in the comments and please hang around for the next video.